In this video, we are going to take you on an epic two-week food tour around Mexico, showing you some of the most delicious meals and snacks that you can find here. Maybe one of my favorite foods here in Mexico. We're starting our journey off in the country's capital, Mexico City. That is delicious. The most popular city in North America is famous for a variety of foods, but first and foremost, it's tacos. Mm. Let's get to eating. We have never been to Mexico before and we have never eaten authentic Mexican food. So this is the first time here for us and today we're going to try tacos at the Taqueria Arandas in the historical center of Mexico City. It smells good guys, wow! So we're starting off with tacos al pastor, which is the most famous tacos variant in Mexico. For tacos al pastor, two corn tortillas are drizzled with oil on both sides and fried on a hot grill. Already seasoned pork meat is cooked all the way through on the same grill while being cut into small chunks. Meanwhile, a small cut of pineapple is being roasted as well and as soon as the tortillas are done, a good lot of the meat followed by onion, cilantro and the pineapple is placed onto them and there you have it, an authentic Mexican taco al pastor. You can then squeeze some lime and hot sauce on top and you're ready to feast. I don't like cilantro or coriander, so mine is without, plus is with coriander. Okay, so I learned that you eat it like this, I think. <laughs> Let's go! First Mexican taco ever! Mm. Mm. That is good! The sweet, warm pineapple, the meat, the sauce is not too spicy, so it's perfect for meat, perfect for Europeans. Mm. It's very basic, but very delicious. Interesting how so little ingredients can taste this good. Mm. In Taqueria Arandas, as in most other taco places, you can not only find tacos al pastor, but also tacos de cabeza which are super popular as well and translate to head tacos. What sounds kind of weird is kind of weird, at least for us Germans. You can find tacos filled with brain, eyes, head meat, tongue and a lot more. Of course we had to try some of these as well. I was honestly expecting the tongue to be cut up in small pieces but it's just one uh, <coughs> big chunk of Tongue. It's and just this a one is basically a human tongue size tongue. piece of beef tongue. Uh, yeah, so this one's made from beef, not from pork. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh wow. Super soft. That is delicious. Once you get past the thought of it being a tongue and just enjoy the flavor, just enjoy the tenderness, the juiciness, how soft it is. Mmm, that's delicious, I love it, seriously. That is soft. Wow. I can describe the taste. Actually, I tasted a lot of the tortilla and a lot of the sauce. I don't really taste it. Like, it's nothing special. Yeah. The consistency, it really falls apart in your mouth. It's super soft. Do you approve it? Actually, I think I like it more than the al pastor one. Although it's still a bit hard to get over the imagination of what you're eating. Um, but I guess that's just because I'm European and we eat very boring food sometimes. Um, but the taste is great. The next day, we weren't in the mood for any more head tacos and rather craved some fish. 
That is a mouthful. Our taco of choice was taco tote, which comes with marlin fish, shrimps, some bell peppers. We then topped it off with some onion and salsa verde and thought, this is gonna be so hard to eat. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to do it. Mm. Super juicy. So many flavors going on. It's a bit spicy, I guess because of the green salsa. Mm. Very fishy. That is a mouthful. Wow. I like the spice. It's not too spicy, it's actually perfect. Super delicious. Now I'm gonna give the shrimp a try. Mmm. Oh wow. Delicious. Crunchy onions, super, super juicy fish, fried shrimps. That is a great combination, I love it. Quick stop on the side of the road to get some chips with red salsa and tahin. Let's see what that's about. They loaded up the chips with six different salsas and tahin for me to try. Mm. You can really taste the lemon. That's really good. Super crispy chips. Very lemony kind of sauce. I love tahin. Delicious spice. Awesome, 25 pesos. What more could you ask for? tacos and the cheesy and spicy chips we're now in the mood for something sweet so we came to La Churreria El Moro and we had churros before in Germany but they were not really authentic and good and we heard that they have awesome churros here the best ones in Mexico City so we're excited how they compare after dumping the thick dough in the boiling hot oil it's left to fry for a couple of minutes while turning occasionally Placing it on a huge silver tray, the hot churros are then cut in generous pieces and coated in an even more generous amount of sugar only or sugar and cinnamon. We bought four churros with sugar and cinnamon and we ordered a chocolate dip on the side. So now I'm gonna try the churros with the sugar and cinnamon. They are really crunchy. They taste so nice. They are soft on the inside but really crunchy on the outside. So it's just a tiny bit of softness on the inside. But it's mostly really crunchy. Not too fatty, not too sugary. These are the best churros I've ever eaten. I love them. And they are 100% vegan, which is surprising. I like it. After a good midday nap with a belly full of tacos and churros, later that day it was taco time again. For dinner we came to La Taqueria Los Especiales, where you can find tacos de canasta, which translate to basket tacos, because they are prepared in advance, stored in a hot basket, and we chose all four flavors available. Chicharron with red salsa, chicharron with uh, green salsa and chicharron by the way I think is pork skin or some kind of pork meat um, we got some with potato and with uh, beans now let's dig in this is chicharron mm. oh I love it super juicy mm. with the guacamole the tacos are super soft because they are stored in this steamy basket 
The meat is super soft. Mm, delicious. Now let's try potato. I'm gonna add some guacamole. Some onion. Very good. Oh, I love it. You can really taste the mashed potato. Super delicious. Mm. Awesome. I love it even more than the meat one. That's delicious. It kind of went downhill from here. So these past few days have been a bit of a bummer because I got sick in Mexico City. Some of the tacos must have been bad. But now we're back on track and we're already in Tulum trying out more Mexican foods. And today I'm gonna start off with a quesadilla filled with chorizo. It looks super delicious, smells amazing. Bit of a hard taco tortilla around, a bit chewy. There's some kind of cream cheese in there. Mmm, oh yeah, now. Super oily, super rich in flavor, not spicy at all. The chorizo sausage is amazing. Mmm, combination with the cream cheese, delicious. Next we ordered enchiladas and we chose the Oaxaca cheese version with salsa roja. Um, there's obviously the cheese, onions, some kind of sauce. It looks like mayo, but I guess it's not mayo, but I don't know what it is. Um, and then it comes in the salsa roja and the enchilada itself. I guess it's a tortilla, corn tortilla, I'm not sure. And inside is some cream cheese, I think. I think that's the queso Oaxaca. Oh, that's the queso Oaxaca. Then I don't know what this is. Maybe even more. Maybe, yeah. We don't know. It looks like feta cheese, but it's not. <laughs> Let's try this enchiladas. For the first time, I'm so excited. This looks really Mexican. Even the plates look so cool. That is delicious. Mmm. It reminds me a bit of lasagna, lasagna, which is weird, there's no meat in it and obviously it's not even pasta and it's completely different but maybe the sauce and the cheese, I don't know. I will try another bite with the onion because I haven't had onion and this sauce here. The sauce tastes like, almost like nothing, a bit buttery. Maybe even similar to a lasagna sauce. Maybe that's a Mexican lasagna. Mmm. <laughs> that is my favorite Mexican dish so far. And last on our list for lunch are chilaquiles with eggs. A traditional Mexican dish as well. There's some grated cheese on top, some raw onions, the white sauce that we already saw on the enchiladas. Oh, there's some soaked tacos in here. I think this is the egg. And this time we went for salsa verde, so the green sauce made from green tomatoes. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of everything. Some soaked tacos, some egg, some cheese, sauce and onions. Oh, I'm excited. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my God. Mm. You can taste some lime, it's a bit sour. It's salty, it's cheesy, the eggs and the soaked tacos. 
or nachos, whatever you want to call them, nacho chips, that is delicious. I haven't tried the enchiladas, but this one is my favorite dish I've tried so far, hands down. I'm excited to see if the salsa verde is different or mm. what's the difference. Maybe you can try the salsa mm. roja and the salsa verde mm. and try to compare it. I only want to eat this for the rest of my life. Oh, I only That's want delicious. to eat enchiladas for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, let's switch plates. Try the enchiladas. Try the enchiladas and, and compare. It does taste like lasagna. A bit, yes? Yeah. Yeah. That must be the Mexican version of Italian lasagna. Mmm, delicious. But this one, chilaquiles, is the best. Even better. And by the way, we're gonna link all of the places that we went to in this video in the description down below. So if you're ever here in Mexico and you wanna try the food that we're trying, definitely check out the description. It will all be linked down there. And hands down, this one, not sure what the name is, best one we've tried so far. Absolutely delicious. And now, let's eat the rest of it before it gets cold. If you've ever been to a Latin American country, you have most likely heard the street vendors shouting down the street about their tamales. And that's what's up next. For dinner we came to Tamales Don Taco to try some tamales. And we got one with pork and cheese and one with spinach and cheese. Actually it's Mayan spinach called chaya. Really interesting, never tried that one before. Let's go. This is the pork and cheese one. I actually don't even know what tamales is. I think it's some um, corn stark mass wrapped in this um, leaf. Yeah, and we have the pork here. I don't know where the cheese is. Maybe this is the cheese on top and it's melted. It's really interesting. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. Okay, it tastes like the taco tortilla, like the corn tortilla. Mm, I'm not the biggest fan of this um, taste. Mm, the pork, kind of similar to the taco al pastor spice style, kind of similar. If I close my eyes and ignore the consistency of the of the corn start, then um, it would remind me a lot of a taco. I'm gonna give it a try with the sauce here. He said it's a bit spicy, but I don't trust Mexicans, so I'm just gonna put a bit, tiny bit. You never know. <gasps> <laughs> Okay, that was a lot. I hope it's not too spicy. <laughs> it is just a tiny bit spicy. I'm not the biggest fan. It's not bad, but... I don't like the consistency of it. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Mayan spinach, the chaya and cheese one. So this one is actually filled with something. Mm. I like it. It's not a huge taste explosion in your mouth. It's really Sapto, or however you pronounce it. It reminds me of a German dish called Mauetasche, which is basically pasta filled with meat. Uh, really reminds me of it. The center of this one is super soft. Mm. Yes, 
No, I really like it. It's good. I would definitely come back. It's delicious. Our last stop of the trip was Cancun, the city most famous for its white sand beaches. Today we have come to Parque de las Palapas in Cancun, arguably the best place in Cancun to get authentic local Mexican street food. There's so many vendors around, they sell all kinds of different foods and we are going to try a lot of it, starting off with Elote in Vaso, corn in a cup. A bunch of corn is thrown into a cup, followed by mayonnaise, cheese, more corn, more mayonnaise and more cheese. It's best served with a salsa of choice, which for us was a spicy peanut salsa. We don't know if this is really spicy or just a bit spicy, because people are telling us different things. You never know how spicy it will be in Mexico. But I'm gonna go with it, but just a bit in case it is really spicy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna mix it. Let's go. Not too spicy, just a bit spicy. It is really a lot of sauce, a lot of manganese, really fatty. It tastes really good, but also really unhealthy. <laughs> I don't want to know how many calories are in one cup, um, but I like it. I'm trying to describe the taste, but it's really hard because it's... I've never tried corn with mayonnaise. It's really interesting and I like it, but I can't come up with an idea how to describe the taste to you guys. Well, how about corn with mayonnaise? <laughs> Another variant of the same dish is esquites with chips of choice. The bag of chips is cut open, filled with corn, mayonnaise and cheese, but on top of that there's also heavy cream and cheese sauce added. And of course your salsa of choice. Okay, let's see what the Tosti Esquites are about. Mm. The cheese sauce is super present. It tastes like nachos and cheese that you can get in the cinema. Mm. But better because it's more creamy. There's way more sauce in there. Corn, cheese, cream. Peanuts, a little bit spicy, the corn chips, even better than corn in the cup. Mm. This one is so good, maybe one of my favorite foods here in Mexico. We were also in the mood for something sweet, so we got ourselves a maquesita, a thin dough filled with Nutella and cheese. Maquisita is a mix between a waffle and a crepe. It is really hard, but I made it fresh, the dough, and um, it is filled with a lot of cheese. It's edamame cheese um, and Nutella. Quite interesting. Never tasted chocolate and cheese together, but I think that is a thing 
um, here in Mexico and also in parts of South America. So I'm excited to try this combination. Sounds crunchy. Mm-hmm. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that must be the most, the hardest thing I've ever eaten. Mmm! Chocolate and cheese? Wow! You gotta take a bigger bite because I got a lot of cheese. Here's more chocolate. Nice! It's definitely a weird combination but still nice. The waffle or crepe is super crunchy. Super crunchy. Mm. There's so much cheese in there. It is not my favorite um, dessert of all times. The chocolate cheese combination is a bit crazy but still really interesting and kind of delicious. Mm. But still, thumbs up for this Mexican dessert. Dessert. Desert. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, ring the bell and we will see you again in Peru. Adios muchachos! We had churros <laughs> and we had churros before but and we had churros before but they were not really good.